What is the most attractive thing that a girl can do? Oh, oh yes, but... Yes. Yeah, I'm not interested in you. What are your thoughts on, like, opposite sex friendship? Here's my honest truth. This is tea. <laughs> this video might be a really bad idea. Yeah. So, like, what can a girl do that will make a guy feel comfortable to open up to her? The answer is yes. It, it is a thing, and it does work. I've just been seeing so much about, like, these siren and doe eyes, and I need you guys to expose yourselves and tell me if that really works right now. I regret this. I need to stop. I'm actually getting upset. Austin, that doesn't ache you out. Stop saying that. today's video because I have all the boys in the house. What's up? Yeah. Woo, let's go. And we are going to be asking these boys questions that girls are way too scared to ask. Good thing is, is I'm related to literally half of them, so I have no shame right now. Half shame. Half, half shame. shame. Exactly. Shame. I was going to say that makes no sense. So I only have half shame right now. A while ago, I asked you guys on my Instagram to give me questions that you personally were wondering about guys that you were way too scared to ask. And I was absolutely blown away, y'all. There were so many freaking questions, I literally couldn't even get to the bottom of the list. So with that being said, we are getting into that this video. That is absolute crap, though. She really didn't even look at your questions. She probably wrote her own list. No, I didn't! Yeah, girl has, you want to ask her. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's not true. Yeah. Okay, Allie. Okay, half of them, I'm not going to lie, I made up myself. Uh, but I know that you guys want to know it. Yeah. And I have to be real, I did ask on my Instagram. If y'all follow me on Instagram, you know. I asked this question. You guys are my witnesses. Preach, Pastor. If this video gets 15,000 likes, I will be doing a part two to answer even more of y'all's questions. Oh, we We're go. going in. But wait, I forgot something really important that I need for this video. So I'm going to be right back. Well, okay guys, I'm so hungry right now. I've got to make something to eat right now because honestly, when I get hungry, I feel like I'm gonna pass out. So the boys are absolutely going to kill me, but this shouldn't take more than like 30 minutes. So oh, I'll see you guys in a second. It's a foot to the episode. <laughs> <laughs> you know that video of the little duck that's like, yes. Why yes. <laughs> you do that noise so good? Thank you. I'm so excited to eat. Don't follow me, know that I literally love every single brand that I get to work with. And HelloFresh is one of my favorites by far. Let's see what's on today's menu. We got some smoked fish with brown sugar butter. We got some fish, mashed potatoes, and broccoli. Or we got chicken, couscous, and carrots. Oh, this one is the one for sure. Look at how good that looks. We are making the sauce. That is my favorite part. Let me tell you guys why I'm always trying to put you on HelloFresh. Because I'm the absolute best. If you guys ever try HelloFresh, you will thank me later. I literally use it all of the time. It saves me so much time from having to go to the grocery store and cooking. So much money from eating out. And it helps me maintain my goals, especially in the new year. I get amazing meals and I can calorie count using it. Plus, HelloFresh is extremely convenient. It literally gets delivered directly to your front door and it's straight from the farm so you know you're getting super fresh food. And you can taste it. But we gotta get cooking for real because the boys are waiting on me. This is so heavenly. If y'all don't believe me, go to HelloFresh.com right now and use code AllieShanaki21 for 21 free meals and free shipping. Y'all need to try this for yourself. HelloFresh.com, use code AllieShanaki21. You'll get 21 free meals and free shipping. You're welcome. I gotta go. It's not, it's not that far of a walk. How are you guys doing? It's been a doing long good. time. Doing good. Awesome. I feel like she's pulling a prank right now. A prank? I left my friends on the couch for 20 dollars. <laughs> 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 Last one to leave the couch with a million dollars. <laughs> Dang. I'm back, I'm back, I'm back, I'm back. Okay. Where the frick did you go? I'm back. And I'm ready. You smell like food. Did you eat lunch? What? Did you go, did you go eat did you right go now? Did you go eat lunch? Are you left us here? And you didn't bring any back? So before this video starts, make sure you guys like and subscribe hey, to this channel. Okay, all right. Okay, okay, we it could 
could not have happened without each and every one of y'all. I believe God's brought you here for a purpose, and I'm so excited to get to know you, so drop a comment if y'all are new. And let's get into today's video. Are y'all ready for this? So ready to do it. I need you guys to all put your hands in the middle. This is a Bible. I want you guys to swear by everything in you and promise that you will give only real answers forever hold your peace. <laughs> I will only give real <laughs> answers um, or real be answers. quiet. Amen. 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 But just a note to my girls, I'm so excited for this video right now because it truly will give you a look into the life of like what a good Christian guy likes. Like these guys are literally the type of guys that I would want to marry, that you guys want to marry. They respect you, they love God, they're they rooted, they have goals, they have vision, you. they're we, chiseled. Yeah, they're chiseled. Going, and going, going. they think a lot different than most guys. So very different. Yeah, very different. <laughs> I've never heard you guys up again. You guys, I know y'all are like normal guys, right? You might have like moral. Normal. Yeah. Yeah. guys have like it's not like just because you believe in God like you don't have those desires right you just learn how to control them better okay you just handle them differently. <laughs> <laughs> this video might be a really bad idea I regret this okay oh man so my first question is I I wrote this one what is like the most attractive thing that a girl can do like do I've, I've just been seeing so much crap about like these siren and doe eyes and I need you guys to expose yourselves and tell me if that really works right now I need to know for those of you guys that don't know this is siren and doe eyes are you, are you gonna, gonna do it? No, I can't. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not even gonna lie, guys. I totally tried to do them in the mirror. You're I like can't do them. Do they work or not? Like, what is like the most you know what would be thing the funniest do? moment of my life? Because I'm the one who told Allie about that, right? I would love if like a couple nights later, I'm like, hey Allie, good night, and I walk in and she's like in the mirror, like <laughs> trying to figure no, crap out. No, you wanna know what Noah told me? Noah told today. me that if you look up and cross your eyes a little, it's kind of cute. <laughs> See the picture. This is the picture that I took. That is not the vibe. I, I don't know if she nailed the assignment there. <laughs> That's so bad, bro. Oh, she really did. Hallie, don't do that again. What have I done? I should never have exposed the guys like that. What have I done? Well, since you're so good at it, since you're so good at it, let's show them how it's done. Come on, turn around your head. Let's Definitely. Let's try it. I want to see the doe eyes right now. Uh, I got you. I got you. I gotta be a little shorter than you. Oh, God. Ready to call me? Uh. <laughs> Number one. Oh, I you have to do that to the camera. Wait, guys. Tell oh. me if this seduces you guys. <laughs> do you want me to seduce? Alex, yeah. you should be a little low. Uh, I gotta stop smiling. Okay. <laughs> The answer is yes. It, it is a thing and it does work. It's a thing. It is a thing. Uh, it's, it's I would really actually a... like for you to demonstrate for the people that don't know what siren eyes are. Siren eyes? Mind? Oh gosh. <clears throat> Do those two. Right. It's like this. Wait. <laughs> what are you doing? Wow. Wow. Oh, wow. You can really that. It's like that. <laughs> like that. But I can't do it. I can't do it. I want to know from y'all's perspective, guys doing this face is attractive. <laughs> Next question. Yeah. Here we Put go. Put it in the comments. I'll just go look myself. Nobody's gonna comment. How do you think your relationship with God sets you apart from other guys? And does it change the qualities that you look for in a girl? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Who wants to take this one? Malik. Okay, Malik. Yes, it changes what we look for in girls because I think we have different things that we hold ourselves accountable for, whether it's like not drinking, not partying, yada, yada. You have your own, um, I guess, you know, things that set you apart that make you different or unique. But within being in God, there's just, I don't know, I think, I think it's just things that we hold ourselves accountable to, you know, because we want to keep ourselves pure. So we, we hold a higher standard for the way we live our lives. We don't consume ourselves with what the world views as important. Yeah. Well, I'm gonna be real with you right now. I'm gonna tell you the truth. It makes it harder for us to find a girl. And let me tell you why, because most of you girls are looking for a bad boy. See, like, it took me a long time to realize the difference between like a good man and a nice guy. Cause there's like a ton of nice guys out there who like are literally um, staying pure, not drinking, not partying because they're timid or they're scared or they can't talk to girls and then they hide behind this facade of like, oh, I'm being holy, right? But then there are these good men who are literally capable of all those destructive natures but are choosing to not step into it. And there's a huge difference. And so- That is so true. You know what I mean? There's such a big difference. Like girls yeah. don't want a sissy. They want a Rottweiler who's on a leash. You know what I mean? And that leash is in God's <laughs> hand, not in hers. <laughs> analogies, bro. You know what I mean? That, that leash is in God's hand, guys, not in hers, okay? What type, what type of 
A Rottweiler? I don't know. I thought you said a Wattweiler. A Wattweiler. A Wattweiler. It does change a lot about what you look for in a girl. Like when you start getting closer to God, your heart starts desiring the things that God wants. I know when I was growing up, and my relationship was like growing in Christ. It was like I want a girl with like a really good looking body and like face was awesome and she had a big butt and like all of these different things. This is the no shame side. You can keep going. Okay, yeah. She had all of, that was that was like the number one thing, but it moves into well, I want a girl who will walk with me in my journey and like improve my relationship with God. And those are the fundamentals. So your priorities start to shift. As a guy is closer to God, his priorities becomes become more like God's. And he will start desiring your attitude in terrible situations and the way you can handle things, like walk through situations with him. Like those become his priorities because the world is super image driven and if a guy is truly walking with God he will be more personality and heart driven I love that so next question what are three qualities that you will have like between you and your person that you make sure are there before you like commit to a relationship with them there's so many okay <clears throat> fun food and faith <laughs> I would say like constantly being able to challenge each other as you grow right so that you're not just getting to a complacent part of your life but you're constantly setting new bars and new standards so that each other are getting better that they're growing uh loyalty is a huge one i think loyalty that's huge is like God, like without loyalty just the constant affirmation that you know that no matter what you're going through that that they're going to stay there that no matter who comes along or anything that there's there's constant trust there's constant loyalty that nobody's going anywhere and then trust i think that's the other one like if i can't trust you there's there's nothing there that yeah so then i got a juicy question for you guys because i got this question a lot Give so it. like what can a girl do that will make a guy feel comfortable to open up to her. Mm. You know what I mean? Because it's the worst. Like when you desire to have a relationship with a guy like so bad, and I'm sure it's the same for you guys, but somebody has all these walls built up. Like what can a girl do that like makes a guy feel safe enough to open up to her? Make me food. <laughs> <laughs> He's not wrong. That's one of the steps. Just time. That's probably the biggest thing for me is like loyalty and time. You know what I mean? Like I think the biggest thing with guys is that we don't want to open up fully because we're afraid that you're going to dip. And like how you guys get emotionally attached as girls, we get emotionally attached a different way. We just don't show that side up front. So it's like time and loyalty kind of like breaks those walls down. And if you got a guy who genuinely wants the deepest relationship with you, then he's going to break down those walls, even if it's hard. You know what I mean? Especially if you guys are pursuing a relationship for marriage. If you're not pursuing that, like then there are just going to be some areas that you're never going to break, you know? Yeah, True. He also, he wants to know that he's investing in something that will last because nobody wants to invest in something that's not going to last. For sure. And if you want him to open up about stuff and in his life, you're gonna have to open up about stuff in your life as well. It can't be a one way. That shows you wanna invest in this just as much as he does. And he's gonna be like, all right, she wants to as well. It might be scary, it might be hard, but yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go for it. Okay, next question. This one is really weird. I don't even know if I should put this in here, but is it true a foot fetish is real or is it just a me, Malik? Malik, you know about I'm this. I'm not answering that. <laughs> I'm not answering that. Malik knows I about can answer before. it because I don't have one. Oh. No, I think it's a real thing. I just don't think that most people have it. Disgusting. I would say it's about a one in four minute. One. What? In oh, probably one in five. It's probably no. It's definitely that one. ratio. It's definitely is one in four. Way. One in four. It's definitely one in four. Yeah. Colby has a big problem. Honestly. <laughs> Yo, here's uh, the thing. I don't think Malik actually has a foot fetish. I've been living with him for a long time. I've only woke up to him looking at my feet like a couple. <laughs> of times. A couple of times. It's got to be more than seven times <laughs> to be a fetish. Be yeah, for it to actually. But he's there. Like thin ice. But he's, he's, he's at six right You're now. On thin ice. You're on thin toenails. <laughs> <laughs> you're tiptoeing right now. Okay. <laughs> what are your thoughts on like opposite sex friendships? Like best friend. Can I have a best friend that's a guy? Can you have a best friend that's a girl? What are your thoughts? Here's my honest truth, right? This is T. This, this is T. I've said it before and it's, I think there's no like friendship type relationship that happens without somebody at least being interested in the other person. 100% I agree. You know what I mean? Uh, actually. Yeah, I'm not interested in you. Actually, not, I don't no, necessarily believe that. Yeah. <laughs> opposite sex. I don't necessarily believe that all the time. Why? Because there's been relationships that I've had with guys that I know neither of us liked each other. No, I see what Colby's saying. In like, my life, I don't, I've never really gone out of my way to pursue a friendship with a girl that I didn't at least like. Like, I have friends that are girls, but somebody that I go out of my way to actually hang out with and cultivate true. a relationship with. That's true. I've never done that with a girl that I did not. Like a one-on-one -on -one friendship. Like, like a best friend type of relationship. Yeah, like I have a bunch of friends that are girls okay, that, that I see sense. in like social environments. Yeah. But like the people that I'm like going out of my way to like, hey, you want 
go hang out at the mall or you want to go do this. You want to yeah. go. Got you. Like, yeah. I don't think any friendship happens like that without at least one person being interested in the other, whether it's the guy or the girl. That's a solid point. That's my that's that my makes, point. Yeah. So not a fan. <laughs> Because the you thing can is, have a best friend yeah, that was a girl and like hang out with her and want to be best friends with her and not, that's not cake up. So that's not exactly what I'm saying. I'm saying that you can have a best friend that's of the opposite sex and like I come into your life, I'm not going to make you get rid of those people. But the way that you handle that relationship moving forward, if you want me in your life at that level, has got to be completely transparent in a way where I can see everything and, and I can respect it and I don't have any questions. So if that means like you only hang out in groups with those people and people that I trust, like if Colby, cake up and her best friend who is a guy went hang, hanging out, I know he's got my back. So I like oh, it does cost some oh, like. I agree with that. I'm saying like if I have a girlfriend and she has a if she has a one on one, a, like, a one, on one is not cool. No, like no. not cool. No, that's what I thought weird. you meant. Yeah, that is what no, I thought. Like, group setting is a little bit different because we have girls all in the group and like if it's a group friendship, for sure. Versus a like all right personally like we'll we, go eat yeah, together. Like, like that's a little, a little different. different. I think here's the thing: if I you have an opposite sex best friend, right, and you don't know that they're interested in you yet, and you're not interested in them because they are interested in you, if you're not interested in them, guarantee it, then you. Probably like want to think about that before you get into a relationship, and then once you get into a relationship, know that that means that the relationship you had before with your best friend changes. It needs to change, and that's yeah. okay because we're just change change change. out of respect for your person. Aye. Aye. No, I really should. I okay. Next question. Aye. Okay, now we're gonna go into something that is called a preference speed challenge. So we're going to be exposing all of their types in a matter of like 30 seconds. Y'all ready for this? Let's, right, yeah. let's get it. Here we go. One, two, three. Blonde or brunette? K cup. Doesn't matter. Malik. Oh, brunette. It doesn't matter. I've all, I, I have I have leaned more towards brunettes, but I don't think it matters because I've only dated blondes. <laughs> Tall or short? One, two, three, go. Kick oh, up. You're really Slipper thick. One, two, three, go. Kick up. Shy or outgoing? One, two, three, go. I'm going. Outgoing. Kick up. Go. Independent or dependent? Independent. Kick up. Independent. <laughs> A girl that laughs at you or makes you laugh? Laughs at Both. Kick up. Both. Sassy or sweet? Sassy. Kick up. There was some sassy. A little mix. That meant sassy. I mean, some sassy. Take it for what you will. You're sassy for sassy. There's a time for both. Okay, Ecclesiastes. So, a lot of girls, whenever they like a guy, start just naturally being obsessed with whatever they're obsessed with. So, if like they are obsessed with baseball, they become obsessed with baseball. And we think that it's like this superpower and it actually like works, makes them more attractive to us, right? I need to know if it's true. Does it really work or are we wasting our time? It really works. It works. It really works. If you could, if you could have a girl that's like invested in the things you are and they show interest in it, really attractive. It's My favorite good. is when you start Again. copying what I say. Oh, oh yes, but oh, yes. So That's girls definitely dive into every single thing that, no. <laughs> Just embody that person. Any, anything that they do, become that become person. That person. Them. What is identity anyways, you know? What is something that girls can do that'll set them apart from other girls? It's kind of a, of a lackadaisical answer. But like, I hate a girl that gossips. So if you're somebody that like sets yourself apart from like being a part of that group, I love that. But if we're being like real, somebody that like doesn't need me or anything that I can do for you, that's pretty attractive too. Yeah, no. <laughs> 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 we keep rolling. I got more. We keep rolling. What do you think, Willie? I don't know. I think you're probably confident. That's so good. See, that's what I was looking for. <laughs> <laughs> No, if she's if she's super bright and she like you can tell she doesn't pay too much attention to what everybody else is thinking about her and she's yeah. just there and she's just being her. Like if I saw a girl, she's by herself but she's eating, loving life. That's really attractive. It means she's really confident in herself. For me, like the room we're in makes a huge difference. Like if we're in the kitchen, it's the girl that's cooking that I'm gonna be attracted to. You know, hundred. I take back my answer. We were talking about being like the worst person ever, but if you can cook, yeah, that's a no. Huge. He's not wrong. Boys are such little babies. They're just like little boys. Oh, don't act okay. like you wow. girls don't love hey, food too. Exactly. Okay. No, we love food, but you guys just, yeah, we love We're food. We're not too complicated. Like, if you For feed sure. us and like make us laugh and like give us arm scratches or something, we're pretty much in. good. Or something. That, that covers a lot. So these are gonna be my last three questions. We're gonna go right, like a rapid fire down the line. Y'all ready for this? I'm ready. All right. What is your biggest ick? Can I go first? Yep. When a girl chases after a ping pong ball. Austin, that doesn't ick you out. Stop saying that after we played ping pong. I know that doesn't gross you out. I told you that would gross me out. Malik? <laughs> when there's one where it's like when a girl takes the joke that you just said and said it, but she doesn't give you the credit for it. I hate that. <laughs> Two, when she commands me to do something instead of asking. Oh, I'm like, oh that's a good she one. Just asked me. You don't I don't like that at all. Dang, yeah, that's, that's a really good one. I need to stop. I'm actually getting upset. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, I was 
like, you know. an ick for me is someone that can't control their emotions, for sure. Like, mm -hmm. if like if something bad happens during the day and like you let that control you to an extent that's like, okay, you let it, you just make the choice to not let it control you. Like, you're in control, not your emotions. Oh, this is a big one. I hate this. When, like, you're driving in the passenger, they put bare feet straight oh, up on your God. dash. <laughs> in the air vent. They car. stick their toes in the air vent and just wiggle them around in like, there. It's so gross to me when I'll get into a car and you can see the footprints on the windows. Oh. Oh. Ew. oh. It's like a yeah, that's Austin's whole car. Sorry, dude. He's like, look, it makes the frost. Go, <laughs> Haley. Put it in the comments if you guys do the same thing. I don't, I don't know. Mind, I don't mind like socks. <laughs> Just don't do bare feet. No. I'm just really curious, like what are some things like just really fast that give you guys butterflies? Like if I'm like still asleep and I woke up and like you somehow like came over and you made me breakfast. Stop. Oh my gosh. A close second, if you're like not in the mood to cook, is just show up and just wake them up with like a hug. Bro. Yeah. That's nice. Uh, yeah. So good. Yeah, those are both 10 out of 10. Yeah. For sure. I'm just gonna say food. Any food. Dang. Bring eating together. And Girls, I will get this you. is good. You can tell and it's it, January. And if you enjoy the food, as much as I do, and we're vibing eating the food. We just made a connection. Another one, because I feel like I just hopped on Colby's, is like when she shows me a really good song. Like, that's nuts. Like, the fact that you found a song that now I like, that's yeah. rare. That's really rare yeah. in Israel. That's rare. really cool. One of the one of the really big ones for me is if we're in public, right, and there's other guys around and stuff, and she comes up and grabs your arm and like gets really close to you, that gives me butterflies. Oh my gosh, okay. This is probably one of the questions that I think is most important for girls to know just because boundaries is such like a hard subject. So many people feel pressured in their boundaries. So many people and especially girls feel like boundaries are one-sided. So I guess my question for you guys would be like what are your thoughts on girls boundaries when she tells you guys them? Do you guys have your own boundaries and like what is too far? I think that's a great conversation to have close to the beginning. It doesn't need to be like first date but like definitely at the beginning where you set the precedence of not only that, that that's important to you but you make it known so that you you leave little room for error because if you don't it's easier to mess up so i think boundaries are, are super important to mention at the very beginning it's almost like accountability straight from the beginning when something is verbalized it is a lot more like heavy there's a lot more weight to it if it's unsaid then there's like yeah i have them but then is it do you know i feel like accountability <clears throat> gets deeper when it's not only just you and the other person but when you start to get other people involved and you tell them what you're doing so it's like whether it's a friend or like parent or whatever True. and it's like these are the rules that we've set for our relationship and you can go to them and they can keep you accountable and you guys keep each other accountable for it. I kind of agree, like Kobe's thing is probably gonna get like slept on a little bit, like having it early, but like in a culture, like I wish it didn't have to be so early. It's just like most guys, if they don't believe like in, in God or they don't have their own set boundaries, whatever it is, if there's no moral compass in a guy, like why would they wait until the third date right. to try something? True. So it's like, it's actually not a bad idea on the second date. I wouldn't do it on the first, no. maybe, yeah. but like I would say probably on the second date, like to just say, hey, like, do you want to talk about like our faith? You know what I mean? Like where are you at with that? Because that's a big part of life. Just from like a girl's perspective, like there is like a fear of when you share your boundaries with a certain like guy that he'll completely just disregard you, like write you off because of your boundaries. And what would you say to a girl like that? Good. It was awesome. supposed to he happen. He ain't the one. He learned. That's not, yeah. He that's ain't not the one. So like if he, if he really did make that decision based off of that, you know what he was there for. You so you yourself, should you be saved yourself moving. a lot of time and heartache. Yeah. Yeah. Better later. Yeah. A big reason why I want to say this question is because I I really wanted you guys to know that there are guys out there that not only respect your boundaries, but also want to be a man and hold those boundaries and make those boundaries themselves. And I love like that I had the privilege of growing up with these guys because it really taught me that there are really guys like that out there. And if you guys are in any situation where you're feeling even guilty about like waiting until marriage, I know all of us are waiting until marriage, like do not feel guilty about that because God will bring a guy in your life that not only respects that part of you, but also wants that for you and wants to be that accountability. And there is that in this world, even if it feels like there's not. It also teaches you that a relationship's deeper than physical. Yeah, yeah. Which, is, which is awesome. Yeah. yeah, you can't like schmooze things over with the physical intimacy. Mm -hmm. Like you get right to the core. Do you guys get along? Yeah. Do you guys have fun? Yeah. Like, and that's the stuff that's gonna last. The physical know? stuff can blind a lot. Yeah. And I remember having a conversation with my dad. Like when I was super little, I felt like God was like, "Hey, make sure whatever decision you are making, it's not based out of any kind of emotion, but based out of like what I've said." and everything because your heart will tell you so many things. I think you were thinking about guard your heart for it affects everything you do. Oh, the heart is the great seer. All the 
those are so true. Well guys, that is the end of today's video. There were so many questions we didn't even have the chance to get to. So make sure you guys like this video because if it gets 15,000 likes, we will do a part two of all the juiciest questions and I will be asking y'all on my Instagram. Make sure you guys go give me a follow so I do not miss your question. It was so fun having y'all. Thank you guys no, so funny. much that was fun. for hey. everything. Do you guys see the content that this girl puts on her page? Get this girl to a million subs. She's almost right. there. She's almost there. Go Drop subscribe. We'll so see excited. you next time. Love y'all. Do it again. Go ahead. It sounds just like it. I can do it. And then wait, it's coming back by. <laughs> Mine's is my dog's short. Now it's, he walks faster. Now to keep it's up. being chased. Go. Mine's winning! <laughs> Mine has short legs! Slow down! <laughs> Where's Allie?